What is going on, guys? One more shipping as a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Today, we're going to be talking about our signing by Adam Humphreys. Now, this video is coming a little few weeks too late, but uh, better late than never to talk about this. So, what is my opinion on the Adam Humphreys signing? I think it's fantastic. You know, he and Ryan Fitzpatrick have had some experience together back down in Tampa, so I think bringing him in is our. Uh, Really helpful to a receiver position. You can tell how much the coaching staff knows we are close to being very good. And Ron has said we are in win-now position. And one of our biggest weaknesses was the receiver position. Because you would have Terry McLaurin and then Cam Sims. I mean, hats off to Cam Sims. He stepped up. But, you know, we like to have another top-tier receivers to be able to compliment whoever's at quarterback, who's at running back, so we can have a more complete offense. And um, we signed Curtis Samuel, which you all know I was a big fan of. I mean, taking me back to the days where we had Garcon and Jackson, just that major dual threat receiving core. And uh, now we got Adam Humphreys. And I'm a big fan of Steven Sims. I met Steven Sims when he was just a returner as a rookie. Back in training camp, super cool guy, super chill, easy to talk to in the morning. Um, but he had a very good rookie season. In this season, he had, now he had injuries. He had the injuries. But his production level was just down. He was dropping passes. He caught a couple of key pl touchdown plays. He caught a couple of key catches at the same time. He dropped several very key plays. And you you just can't have that. You can't have somebody who's dropping a ball like that on a play where it matters so much, you know? So, does this mean Steven Sims loses the starting slot position? Not necessarily, but he doesn't really have a firm grasp on it either. I think Adam Humphreys is going to kind of come in with the understanding he probably is a starter because he has a lot more um accomplishments as a slot receiver to his name he's very good he's shifty he's fast he's small i mean i've watched this guy he's been one of my favorite receivers for s several years now i just enjoy watching his game and um i'm super excited to see him in washington when we signed him i was like that's his that's a very good signing for the slot position because um when steven sims went down one thing was washington kind of struggled trying to find the next guy they a lot of times they use Isaiah Wright, but he wasn't always the best fit. So having a guy who's actually slot receiver, 100%, uh, helps us in case either Adam goes down or Steven goes down and there's another pure slot receiver ready to go. And I think the chemistry that him and Ryan Fitzpatrick already have will be helpful because I'm sure Ryan is actually going to be the starter at the beginning of the season. I just have that gut feeling inside. So I think he's going to be the starter, and him already having that established chemistry with Adam Humphreys, I think it's going to be key. And, uh, and I think Adam Humphreys will complement Terry and Curtis very well, and the uh, other receivers that we hope step up this season, like Gandy Golden, hope Steven Sims can step back up, Cam Sims. I mean, we got a pretty decent wide receiver core now, and I'm super excited to see him get to work. Super excited to see where it goes, but uh, you know, he's just coming out of a year or two in Tennessee where he played okay fo football. I mean, they had had to deal with some injuries, but still played very productive football. Like he's fast, he can be a deep threat. He can get the deep ball if you need him to. Um, watching Scotty Miller's game on the Bucks, they're they're very similar, and um, so if you look at Scotty Miller, it's like what. That, that's another version of Adam Humphreys, a little bit faster. But, um, yeah, we got a loaded receiver core now, which is something that I've been wanting to say since 2016, 2017, and just haven't been able to say. And we finally have one now with uh, Adam Humphreys, Curtis, and Terry. So there's not a whole lot to talk about the signing, but I just really wanted to hit on the fact that I think it's an amazing signing. I think it's a great choice by Ron and the team to go in this direction with him because we just don't know what Steven Sims' next year's production is going to be like, and we can't rely on that. We're in win-now mode. can't rely on uh, hope and faith he's going to do good. You have to be kind of like 
we know this guy's really good, so let's go ahead and get him in the building. Whether he starts or not, we know we have. So I think that's a key um, thing, and he's only on for a one-year deal. So it's a one-year prove-it deal, which I think is really cool to help him and Steven Sims really had that competitive energy around each other, which I hope comes into fruition. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this signing. I hope you guys are, and I can't wait to see what it turns out to be this season. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Uh, make sure to check out all the other episodes on Washington Station. And I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.